I put on makeup. You're welcome. Hey guys, this week I'm back and last week in my video I said that I was going to do something Christmassy and um, I couldn't figure out any crafts or hair related things or makeup related things that I really felt like making a video about. So um, I'm just going to look at cringy Christmas memes instead. This isn't the most original idea, but it sure is a lot of fun. So let's just jump right into it. Me when I open the 16th pair of socks on Christmas Day. Dude. This is relatable. Now this, this is what it's all about. Okay, because socks suck, right? Dude, I hate getting socks for Christmas. I just, don't you hate it when your parents just give you excessive amounts of socks for Christmas? Because that happens so much. I actually can't tell what this expression is supposed to be. It looks like a sneezing face almost. It's like, oh my god, I got socks. I'm assuming it's like, gee, thanks kind of face, but honestly, dude, when has anyone ever said, I have too many socks? They're always getting lost. They're always all dirty at the same time somehow. Dude, I appreciate getting socks for Christmas. Y'all are just a bunch of unbreakable brats. How did this movie both make me so happy every single year, but also terrified me to the core? And dude, the hot chocolate song? Forgotten banger, dude. Ooh, we got it. Getting your child what they want. Getting them socks instead. Dude, why do people hate socks so much? They all really getting an excessive amount of socks every year? I've never received so many socks for Christmas that I've gotten angry enough to make a meme about it, dude. I just love to think that whoever made this just like hates socks. They're just like mainly a sandals guy. Oh my gosh, it's so cold out here. I'm just free, I'm just freezing. I'm freezing, I'm freezing away. It is cold, but why are you, why are you wearing sandals without socks? I hate socks, okay? I hate them. I hate, they're like prison for your feet. Your feet have to be free. They have to be allowed to roam separate from its other toes. Okay, my toesies need to breathe. But your your toes are your toes are purple. They're lit they literally they literally just fell off your feet. You don't you don't have toes anymore. Now they're truly free. The year is 2030 and it's Christmas morning. You and your significant other are married, sitting on the couch by the fire with your pets, watching your children open presents. A cinnamon roll candle is burning and snow is falling outside. Silver bells plays quietly in the background. Yeah, because no one's ever pictured this before. Like, wow, you're so original for thinking this. I hate these so much. These make me crazy. I hate these really like mundane imagines that they, no one needs to tell anyone to think about these kinds of things. Like obviously people think about this. There's so many people who want to have a family and you know, fantasize about Christmas morning with their future family. There's so many people that think about that. And then for this girl to just be like, <sighs> it's just so, I'm like so quirky. Like just think about like having kids on Christmas. Like wouldn't that be just like so crazy? I want to see an imagine that's just like super out of left field. Imagine it's the year 2030. It's Christmas morning and your kids are opening the socks you got them for Christmas. They get so angry at the sight of the socks that they bash you over the head with a metal candle holder. So cute. So we got we got we got Mrs. Claus sitting on the couch with snowman and Santa's coming in. He's mad and she's like. You remember, dear, the doctor said I should apply cold to my shoulders. What? Apply cold? Like, I know what they're trying to say, but I've literally never heard anyone say it like that. So, Mrs. Claus is cheating on Santa with the snowman because the doctor wants her to apply cold to her shoulders. Both of them? But you know what? I think Santa needs to give her the cold shoulder. 
you know, like you should leave her. Also because she needs to apply cold to her shoulders. So if he gives her the cold shoulder, then he leaves his cheating wife and she's got the cold shoulders that her doctor said she needed. It's a win-win situation. So it's a reindeer in Santa's office and um, there's a bunch of other reindeer heads on the wall and it says complainers on top. Yeah. So, so Santa just, just kills his employees when they when they have disputes. That's so professional. Like literally, this is actually not, this is not funny. This is actually really, really dark. Just imagine, imagine this with humans. Imagine you walk into your boss's office and you're going to talk to him about something and on the wall is just your coworkers' heads just mounted on the wall. Bro, that's actually so terrifying. Who, who's making these? Yikes, bro. I think tomorrow's forecast is going to be the least of our worries. We got a snowman, got a bird's nest on top, and a cat with a blowtorch melting the snowman. I have so, I have so many questions. Oh my god, what is going on? This is a normal concept. Snowman, worried about the sun coming out because it's gonna be too hot and he's made of ice and he's gonna melt. Oh no. Normal, age-old problem. But, but that's not what he's worried about. Oh no, no. He's not worried about the sun coming out. He's worried about a bird's nest on his head and a cat literally murdering him by melting him with a blowtorch. That's so brutal. Why, first off, why does the cat have a blowtorch? And second, why in the world is it melting this poor snowman? This doesn't make a lick of sense. Somebody call 911. Someone gave a blowtorch to a cat. Whoa. Okay guys, I think we're gonna end it there. That was the last one I had. This was not the most original video idea, but it was Christmassy nonetheless. See, check it out. It's the most festive video you've ever seen. Okay guys, that is it for me this week. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my Instagram. Um, I post about my videos and about my hair journey almost every single day. So if that's the kind of thing that you are interested in, go ahead and go check it out. The link is in the description. Also, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up because that tells YouTube that it's a good video and that they should show it to more people. So even if you didn't like it, you should like it just out of pure pity and Christmas spirit. Give my video a like or else you hate Christmas. And last but not least, consider subscribing. If you made it this far in the video, probably means that you're liking what I'm doing here. I post videos every single Wednesday, so if you don't want to miss a single one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to. Santa's watching. Okay, bye. See you next Wednesday.